Hey guys, today I'm going to be showcasing Anel, or as they call in this game, Thunder God in Roblox Anime Mania. So I'll be showing you if he is worth spending a gems on and if he is as good as some of the other legendary One Piece units. So hope you guys will enjoy, and now let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so here's a th quick 360 view of this unit here. He has a really nice mess in my opinion, at least compared to some of the other units. And I have noticed that they upped the graphics of this game, at least I think they did, which is pretty nice, so it makes it look even better. So the skills, also if you're wondering why I only have him as my legendary, this is my alt account, so I have other legendaries on my other accounts. But yeah, the first ability is called Thunder Spear. It'll do 35 damage, which will only hit once, and it'll have a seven second cooldown, so, Super low cooldown and medium damage. The description is strike forwards with your staff. The second ability is Thunder Dome. It will do 20 damage, which I think hits multiple times. And it has a 17 second cooldown. So low damage, but it hits multiple times. So it can be high damage. And it'll have a low low to medium cooldown. The description is create thunder clouds that strike down at your enemies. The third ability is Judgment. It will do 7.5 damage, which will hit multiple times. And it will have a 16 second cooldown, which I would say is low, getting closer to medium, but I would say it's low still. The description is release a powerful thunder strike in front of you. And the last ability is called Divinity. It will do 150 damage, which I think might be the most in the game, but it also has, I think, the longest cooldown in the game of 40 seconds. So yeah, super high damage, insanely high damage, and insanely high cooldown. The description is release a condensed ball of pure electricity. And now I'm going to show you guys these skills in action. I'll go ahead and use this unit over on uh, an arena mats. So you guys which moves have iframes and which ones don't. But I'll show you guys the abilities here in the training area. Also he is at level 1. You'll do more damage as you level your unit up. So um, here is the M1s. He has horrible M1s and M2s. So here's his heavy attack. 4.98 damage. Really low compared to other units. Here's his M1s. So this is left click, other one I showed you was right click. Really bad um, punching damage or hitting damage, weapon damage. So yeah, um, like other units like Katakori, Katakori does like more than double this damage, which is pretty crazy. So yeah, um, the first ability is going to be Thunder Spear Sword over here. So this one has insane long range. Let's try and zoom out so you can see it a bit. So, let's hold it up. There we go, I hit both of those people. Um, hopefully you can cast the damage. It should be around 35 as they said. It got him almost to half health. I'll use it one more time. It has a very slow cooldown as you saw as well. So you can kind of spam it. There we go. Well, not spam. Well, kind of. It, it just has a super short cooldown. Second ability is called Thunderdome. This one is really good for AoE. So I'll show it over here. Don't want to... Well, yeah, I'll just show you guys AoE. <laughs> right in the middle. So yeah, here it is. You're going to create Thunderclouds. It's gonna rain down a lightning on your enemies. As you can see, I almost killed this guy. That one, you get lucky like one time, I got him a little bit under half health. This time, I almost killed him. So yeah, that one, it does do some knockback, which is a good thing sometimes, but also a bad thing because you won't be able to land all the thunder strikes. So yeah, that is how much damage it did um, for me. Once again, it will fluctuate due to the knockback. The next ability is going to be Judgment. This one will be, let me see, oh yeah, this one, has a huge AoE. This one you're gonna strike now. Actually, use it over here. You're gonna strike down. See that huge lightning bolt, and it will do multiple. It will land multiple hits of low damage, and overall, it should get them to a little under half health while we spawn the dummies. So I can show you guys them um, a little bit better. There you go. So here is judgment again. Look at that. So I got him to almost half health. They did amazing with the effects on this one. And then the last ability, Divinity. This one just does a clap of dance. It ain't to kill them. So this one, I think you just throw, you're gonna jump up in the air. And then, it takes a while to charge up. But once you do charge up, just, you throw it in front of you. It has an insanely large AoE and just kills them instantly. It is insanely good and I imagine it's going to be super good for boss fights. And now I'm going to show you guys which moves have iFlames and which moves don't have iFlames. I do apologize for me only being in Leaf Village Gate. Hopefully you won't mind too much. Okay, 
gonna launch. Hopefully it starts. There we go. Okay, so now I have muted, and I'll show you guys the move. So here's the first move, Thunder Spear. I'll get him to dance me. Also, this does not have Logia capabilities. So this one does give you eye flames, as you saw. As far as I know, I think it gives you eye flames. Second ability, Thunder Dome. They're attacking me. I'm salting it up. I do not have eye flames. Next ability, Judgment. No eye flames. Thought ability, divinity. And this one I won't be able to tell. I'm assuming it will have eye flames, but it might not. And I don't think I'll land it. Actually, I might. Yeah, I land it. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, those are all the abilities of Anel. Only one has eye flames. Maybe two if divinity has eye flames. So, yeah, that's all light if divinity does have eye flames, but that takes ages to cool down. Good thing is. Um, Thunder Spear barely has any cooldown, so yeah, you can just use that as your eye flame ability over and over again. Judgment. So yeah, you can kind of see general. This um unit seems to be focusing on AOE overall. It seems. Lots of this. Lots of units in this game are AOE though, but this one has a really big AOE. Maybe this is the biggest AoE in the game. I'm not sure so, though, but it's insanely it has a huge AoE. It's pretty crazy. There you go. Divinity to kill him. It's my spirit bomb. Okay. Thunderdome. Judgment. There you go. Kill you. There, I have killed them all. Now I'm gonna see how well I can do against the Ultimaru with the fun. What the heck? I have super speed. Well, that's cool at least. Okay, now I don't. I lost my super speed. Okay, I'm not sure it will land, but I hope it does. Crap! No! It didn't land. I'm gonna die. I'm f so gonna die. I'm really bad with them, to be honest, though. So, well, I'm probably really bad with them. Okay, gotta be really careful now. Okay. Crap! No! The sword eye flames. Well, yeah, I did pretty bad with them, but hopefully you were able to see the abilities there. So far, at least in my opinion, I might have to get more used to him, but I think he's 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 a whole lot better. Um, I'm a, um, yeah, he's probably a whole lot better than the other. The old One Piece units, like Mihawk, he's a crap little better than Ace. Ace sucks. And he's also better than that other one. I forgot the name of him. Yeah, I forgot the name of the other One Piece unit. Is it just, it's Ace? Oh, wait, yeah, it's Ace and uh, Mihawk. Those are the two I was thinking of. Um, yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's better than Mihawk, but uh, it's hard. I, I think... I th I'm not so sure. Him and Whitebeard are close. But compared to the new One Piece units, I think he's probably the worst one. You have insanely high combo capabilities with Katakoi, which just make him insanely good. And he also has insanely high M1 damage. And then his... Um, the other one, which is Malko. Malko's just insanely good. He's, he's just better than... Um, and now, even his final ability, even though it does a little bit less, well, for it, less damage, yeah, that's not a little bit, but still, it still does a whole ton of damage, the cooldown is a whole lot less, though. So, yeah, overall, he's good. I'm not sure if he has any damage reduction or anything like that. If he does, then he's actually, I don't think he does. But if he is, yeah, he's super good, but I just think other units like Marco and, um... Katakoi, just make better units. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Two Kiss in a Pod if you want some more videos like this one. Hopefully, I could help you guys out a nice amount. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.